In this video, we will demonstrate how to vibe code a calculator app for Windows using MAUI and C Sharp. To begin, I have opened the default desktop MAUI application for Windows. Let's open the JetBrains AI Assistant and begin prompting. I'll begin with this prompt. I'm working on a new MAUI app I am building specifically for Windows 11 only. I want to make a calculator app. Help me get started by building out the interface. The AI Assistant will output some new XAML, which we can copy. This will cause an error when we replace the old code, because there is also the code behind that needs to have the old code removed for the old button. If we run this, it will already look like a calculator, although it does need additional changes. Next, I'll prompt. Okay, this looks good, but the text on the buttons is far too small. Let's increase the text size on the buttons. I also want to hook them up to the back end so that they are functional. The AI Assistant will rewrite the XAML, copy and paste that again, and let's see what happens. We will get an error, because the AI Assistant also provided some corresponding code behind that needs to be copied into the C-sharp file. Let's copy that as well and build again. This time, the build will succeed. Run the application now, and it looks better, and the buttons now function. Although, it is difficult to keep track of what you have clicked. Let's ask for some more features. I'll now prompt, okay, this looks great so far, but there is no visual indicator that I am doing a specific action after I hit the operator like the plus sign. Can we output some sort of history to show the user a breakdown of what they have entered so far so they know where they are at. The AI assistant will give some partial code telling us to add it in a specific place. Let's try to add it where it is asking and see if that works. It seems that this partial code is reusing a variable or name that it has already used before. 
Let's prompt the AI assistant to resolve that. Then let's scroll back up and copy all of the new code behind that we haven't copied into the c -sharp file yet. After that, the AI assistant is done responding and it has rewritten the entire file to make this easier for us. Now we can copy the entire XAML into the file again. Now when it runs, we can see the equation forming at the top and know what it is doing. Next, we can look around and find the title and update the to say calculator instead of the default title of home. The next thing I want to do with this is fix it so that when it loads, it will load in the correct resolution, starting the window in the traditional shape of a calculator. To do that, I'll write the next prompt. Okay, when this launches, I want it to be a reasonable width, like the normal calculator app, instead of whatever width it opens with. Now the AI assistant will give us some more C-sharp to update this time in the MAUI program file. When we add it, we will get some errors. We can prompt the AI by copying and pasting the errors to get more information. When we do that, the AI assistant actually rewrite the solution in a different way, allowing us to try to copy the new code and see if that works instead. It also provides two different solutions. Let's copy one and see if that can work. After importing the missing references using the context menu, we can now build the application again. Now when we run it, we see it open in a better size that looks more like a calculator Thanks for watching.